Hi, I'm Mark from LM Small Engines. Today be working on a Craftsman M215 um, front wheel assist push mower with a 159cc overhead valve engine on it. I don't know what brand name the motor is, but it looks like one of them Chinese motors. They mowed, they mowed their lawn once this season and they started mowing the second time when it quit running. So it makes me think either some water got in the gas or some dirt. So we're going to tear the carburetor apart and see if we can't fix that. So hope you enjoy the video. Okay, it's popped the air filter cover off. Missing the bolt. Looks like them are 10 millimeter, and we're going to take the recoil off. So we can get to the tank. We're going to go ahead and take the tank off and clean that out, too. Should have a stud like this over here, but they got a bolt in there. I don't know what the deal is with this, but let's go ahead and take this recoil off. And we'll unhook the clamp for the fuel line there. That ain't right. I need to find a stud or something. There might be more wrong with this than I think. I'll go ahead and drain that tank and blow it out real good. This has that automatic choke system on it. It's like they put some glue or something on that one there too. That's our automatic choke, so we gotta be careful we don't bend that or anything. Let's pop that. Governor link out of there and pop that spring off. And instead of having a gasket, they used like Permatex or something on there. You have to find the gasket for that too. It's like former gasket or permatex or something. <laughs> I can see what the problem is. Here, I'll put it on close up here. They glued this on, and the gasket's covering the intake hole. That's all glued on there. Oh, it's broke, in fact. You have to find one of them too. But that gasket was covering the intake there. Let's 
So I'm going to go try finding some parts for this before I even attempt to take this carburetor apart because I think I know what the problem was right there. So let me go find some parts. I think I got a couple of these motors out back. So. Okay, I took one of these intake insider plates. A lot of these carburetors for these Chinese motor stuff, the carburetors come with this plate. But what I did is I cut part of it off. And it'll fit in there just like that. So I think that will work. When I ground all that Permatex off of that. So we got our gasket there. So I think it should work. I could find the stubs, so or it's going to end up using this bolt again. So just I just got to be careful. Looks like I have to take this this part here off, so I can get get that get this back over. That's what helps cool the engine down. So I'm gonna grind this little thing off here, and I think it should be good to go. Then we'll take the bowl off this carburetor and see if there's any dirt or water in there. But I don't think there is. I think when they they must try and fix it themselves and that gasket covered the intake. Well, so hopefully that's all that's wrong. But I'll go grind that off and we'll see if we can't get it to work. Okay, I ground this down so it will fit in here. I couldn't find the stud. There's one motor back there that had these on it, but the carburetor's off and they were bent. So, what we're just going to do, do the best we can here. And before we start, I'm just going to take, take the bowl off and just make sure the jet's not clogged up. I want to make sure this thing even runs before we get too involved with this. And the main jet's right here, so I'm going to spray some carburetor cleaner in there and make sure it shoots, shoots up in the venturi in the carburetor. So you just take carburetor cleaner in there. And it's not plugged up. So... And another thing, the pins, the pin is missing. <laughs> it's not in the bowl. So let me go find the pin real quick, I guess. And I found the pin here. <laughs> there we go. I'm going to see if this thing even tries to run, and if it does run, and don't run very good, we'll go back and clean the carburetor thoroughly and stuff, but I just want to make sure this thing's going to pop off before I get too carried away, so 
All right. Um. We put that one on there. I don't want to put this gasket on. Like that. I'm going to go and put this plate on. So that's probably where they had their trouble when they tried putting this together. That's when that gasket and stuff fell down. So let's try taking my time. Get this thing going here. You gotta grab one more gasket, it looks like. Okay, I found another gasket. Clean the rest of this. Gasket seal stuff out of here. See what I'm going to do? I'm going to stick a long skinny screwdriver through there to kind of keep the, the gasket somewhat intact. Need a longer screwdriver than that. This might not work, but at least. Won't go past that there. Well, Try holding some pressure on there, I guess. Not probably going to work either. I have to back this off to put. Put the governor right on. And we'll put the spring on. I'm going to bend that up a little bit so. Don't pop out of there.
Put this wind vane on there. Well, this is going to be a nightmare with only one bowl. I guess I could order one, but shit, I don't even know if this thing's even going to run. For some reason, this is binding up. I think this should go in that slot like that. Well, it looks like that's working. <laughs> this is crazy. I was waiting on to get all that stuff in the back lined up. That's going to be the fun part. I'm going to put that nut on that side there so that don't come undone. I'll have to stick a screwdriver in the back somehow. And push that fiber intake adapter on there we'll just pray for the best here but all we can do One gasket at a time, it looks like. Getting closer there. Oh, 
Okay. Let's try that. I gotta get a bolt for that. Make sure everything's working. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna shine a light in here. Make sure there's no gaskets in the way. I think it looks pretty good. It looks better than when we first started. Okay, I blew the tank out. Hose clamp on there. I'm going to put that recoil on. Get this tightened up here. Okay, I don't got a new air filter. I'm just going to see if this thing runs. And if it does run, I will order a new filter. You know, sometimes you get projects like this. I think it might be something simple. And it turns into something like this. So anyways, I'm going to put some fuel in there. We'll get it off the table. and It's either going to run or it's not, I guess. It's one of them kind of deals. All right, put a little bit of gas in there. I don't, know, I don't got too much hope, but we'll see. Well, I guess it does run. Gonna have to do a little bit more fine tuning on it. Surgeon, so that little pilot jet on top of the carburetor. Pipe is clean. I'm probably just gonna boil up the carburetor and order an air filter, but it does run. So, anyways, appreciate you watching the video. And you guys have a good afternoon. Bye.